church. I'm just going to tell you a quick, little quick, a quick story here, okay? All right. Pastor Jose and I were, this is years and years ago, we're watching this, uh, this video, Christian video, and the video was about people that, I don't know, they, they had like street ministries and different things like that. They were laying hands on the sick, and you can see them, like the people recovering, um, like right on, on, on video and stuff. Like, okay, uh, this one guy, you know, he's in the street, and he's praying for a man that had one leg shorter than the other, and, you know, and you can see the leg grow and, and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, that, that's fine. If you want more on that, you'll listen to the teaching that I taught pre-service. But so they were seeing things, you know, manifest. And uh, another guy, um, for instance, we're watching this video where this guy is in some remote tribe in, like, Africa or somewhere. And the interviewer is there with him. And the guy says, oh, I, the Lord told me to go to the town square or something tomorrow. I'm going to meet a guy with whatever, a green shirt, and he's going to be doing this, and he's going to be doing that, and he's going to be doing that. And the interviewer goes with him, and then they go to the town square and the guy's right there with the green shirt and the thing. So the, the, essentially, the point is, all these manifestations and miracles that they're kind of honing in on, and they're showing, like, you know, God uh, manifesting himself, the Holy Spirit working these gifts and stuff through these different people. And they interview them, and they talk about it, and you can see it, like, right there on, on the footage, right? So, okay, so that's cool. Um, now, what happened afterwards was, uh, you know, we were watching it, and I remember I was having a conversation afterwards about, wow, you know, you watch those things, and all oh, those things are awesome, but, um, and, and I'm making a point with this, okay, but, man, like, it can, it can make you feel inferior, right, because even though they're really good things, similar to what Pastor was talking about, the law, right, the law gives the knowledge of sin, but does the law name sins as much as it really just gives you a right standard, and when you, it shows you something that's so holy and right and good, and then you look at something that's so holy and right and good, and then you look at yourself, and you compare yourself, and you're like, oh, I feel like I'm falling short, right? So in kind of a similar way, after this video, we're talking like, oh, uh, you know, it can makes you feel inferior, right? Because it's like you see all these manifestations, and you're like, oh, the power of God's working in them, and at first it's kind of cool and exciting, and then, and I'm getting somewhere with this, uh, it's cool and exciting, and then afterwards you kind of feel like, man, like I've never seen that in my life. You know, I've been saved for X amount of years. I've been saved for however long, and, I, you know, I've never seen something like that in my life. And so it's kind of cool, but it makes you feel like, you know, uh, just, just that sense of inferiority, right? And I remember I was talking about that. Um, and just so you know, everything I just said is really completely, completely wrong. Because this conversation we had after this video, the Lord started teaching me about using Jesus as my mirror. This was before that. And... I came back to Pastor Jose, we were driving somewhere, and I said, you know what? As the Lord was teaching me about identifying with Jesus and looking at him and relating with the things that I saw in Jesus, and I talked to Pastor Jose, I said, you know that conversation we had a while ago? That's stupid, because that video didn't make me feel inferior. My ignorance made me feel inferior, because that kind of mentality of, the, oh, it just makes me feel inferior, no, that's, that's your fault that you feel that way. If you feel that way, it's because you're not relating with Jesus. That is your own ignorance fault. That's not anyone else's fault. That's your own ignorance fault. If you ever look at, oh, but the manifestations of God's working through somebody else, and, and you feel, oh, it makes me kind of feel in fear, that is your own ignorance fault. And the only reason why you feel that way is because you are not relating with Jesus. That's the only reason. You are not relating with Jesus. You are not using Jesus as your mirror. And it, think about this for a second, right? If, if I was really, let's say, Jesus over here, the glorified Jesus over here, and someone working in the manifestation of God that I'm not currently seeing in my life is over here. If I'm looking at this, right, with my physical eyes, but I'm actually relating with the glorified Jesus, and I see a partial manifestation come out of somebody in any way, shape, or form in the gifts of the Spirit, and I'm really relating with Jesus, how, how do you feel inferior to what is in part when you're actually relating to what's in full? If you heard the message pre-service, you'll understand what I'm saying. So that is our own ignorance fault. And I told Pastor, I said, that, that ain't that video's fault that I felt inferior. That's my fault. Because if I'm looking at what's partial, and I feel inferior to what is partial, a partial manifestation of Jesus, and I say, supposedly, right, that I'm really relating to the full, manifest, to the full glorified Jesus, that's baloney. I'm not. I can't say that. 
For as long as I'm feeling inferior to what is in part, I cannot say, claim in myself that I'm relating to what is full. So that's baloney. The whole thing was baloney. And I told him, I said, you know what? That's my fault. We had that conversation, and I said, oh, you know, it makes you kind of feel inferior or whatever. You go, oh, yeah, yeah, we're going back and forth about it. Again, this was years ago. I said, you know, no, that, that, that's my fault. That's not their fault. That's my fault. Because I can't say I'm relating to what's full. It's like you being jealous of someone who has, a, a, you know, this much water in their cup, and you have a full cup, and it's like it doesn't even make any sense, right? Because you, how could you be jealous of what is in part when you have what's full? And so I just felt like mentioning that because uh, in talking about relating with Jesus and talking about partial manifestations before service and all that kind of stuff, it's important to know that kind of stuff. And you know, it, it's something also that is just good for brotherly unity as well, because that is imperative that you understand these things, right? You, we have to be relating to the glorified Jesus. Uh, as Pastor Zay was saying before, about everything that's good and right and perfect and praiseworthy and all that kind of stuff, and keep your mind on these things, because these are the things we have in Christ, and these are things we should be relating with in Christ and all that stuff. That's what Jesus provided us. Um, that is. Um, and while you're actually doing that and relating to the fullness of Jesus that you actually have, that you actually have, it is impossible for you to feel inferior to a partial manifestation from, from another believer if you were really relating to the fullness of Christ. If you ever feel inferior, I would, I would submit this to you. What would you rather have? Oh, so you see the manifestation of God working through another believer? What would you rather have? Because let's say God told you that. Oh, w would you actually rather have that partial manifestation that you see in that believer? Or would you rather have the glory uh, that you see in the risen Christ? Take your pick. Which one? Which one would you rather have? So my point, obviously, is that you have this one, and if you were to give me the choice as to which one I want, I would want this. And guess what? Oh, I already have that. So my point is, don't pawn that off on an external circumstance when you feel inferior to something. That is your own ignorance. And again, I'm not trying to be cruel in my terminology, but you have to understand that. The, the, more, the, the more that you say, the way that Pastor Jose years, years ago uh, the way that both of us said, oh, that video made me feel inferior, the more you do that, the more you're going to stay in your inferiority complex. Because you're blaming it on something else and you're not blaming it on ignorance. While it's somebody else's fault, there's nothing you can do about it, right? You just made me feel inferior. Right? It's what people do today with the politically correct world that we live in. It's always somebody else's words fault, right? You made me feel this way. So you can't say that because you're going to make me feel this way. Right? As a believer, it, it, it's, it's such garbage. It's, it's like, no, no, no. That video didn't make me feel anyway. If I were really relating to the risen Christ, I don't care if you spun on your head and you flew around the room. You can't make me feel in fear while I'm relating to the glorified Jesus. Because if I compare your manifestation to the glorified Jesus, he wins every time. By far. I'm not downing. I'm glad that someone has the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. That's great. That's a great thing. They're growing in the knowledge of the Lord and they manifest. But as far as my inferiority complex, that is my own ignorance fault, and I can change that by listening and learning and relating to Jesus. That is no one else's fault. That was my fault that I felt that way. I hope everyone understands where I'm coming from, because that is, when, when I say my fault, I'm not saying because I feel condemned. I'm saying because as long as you're blaming your inferiority complex on somebody else, you will stay in your inferiority complex because you think it's somebody else's fault and not your own mind's fault. You get, you get where I'm coming from? Now, hopefully that's more of an amen than, than, a, than a downer to everybody, because that, but that is the truth. If you ever have an inferiority complex, there, it is impossible, and you are lying to me, if you tell me you are relating with the glorified, risen Jesus Christ sitting at the right hand of the Father today. In all that he has, and you're relating to that, and a partial manifestation made you feel inferior, you're lying to me then. You're lying to me, and you're lying to yourself. So, anyway... Relate to Jesus, and when you see a manifestation come from another believer, it's the same exact thing always. You just continue to relate to Jesus, and uh, it's due to lack of that that believers compare themselves amongst themselves, and it's only due to lack of that knowledge. That's it. form in us.com.